Hello. Today we're going to talk about how to activate independently two we do two motors on the same we do two hub using the Lego we do two application. The motors are going to be used independently of each other. So, how do we do that? Well, the first thing is to call the Widget 2 application. So we have uh, the window of the application in front of us here. I'm gonna show you on camera one small robotic construction I have here with me to help us understand the subject we are going to talk about. Here is here is the uh, construction that has two mo motors, two motors connected to the same hub. We do two hub. Okay, every motor connected to a different port. Okay, and we're going to see how to move the motors independently of each other. So the first thing is to connect the hub to the application window. So we press here. and then we press the uh, green button we see here that it appears and we connect it, we wait for the connection okay, see the hand here so yes, it's everything okay, so we close here alright and by the icons on the right bottom of on the right bottom of the screen of the application window you see there are two motors connected to each port so the usual thing we do is we turn on so you're using this uh, green tile based uh, command shows like an icon okay to turn the motor on on for about two seconds okay and we're gonna use a power of two so we leave it for three seconds okay and now we turn this if I press the play button here both motors are energized are activated but we don't want this we want the motors to be independently activated so here's how to do it if you press if you keep your mouse pressed or your finger pressed on top of the, the tile command which is this green here if we press it more than two seconds there is a matrix appears like here like this okay and it has a sim if if we if you press it with your finger or with your mouse button the left mouse button continuously it's going to circle through six positions with different colors so let's do it again okay now in actuality this application window this app the widget 2 app it can control three different hubs where on each hub we gonna we you can connect two different two different motors okay like this 
the first port is addressed with a green square let's press once the second port is activated with the orange okay so if we have two different make it two okay like that this is gonna turn on the first and this is gonna turn on the second but we also with we also have to control when to stop it using the same technique so we need three seconds for the first but also we need three seconds for the second motor, the second port. So, more than two seconds press and just press once. And that says, turn on mo motor A on port A, which is, and then make it last for three seconds, then stop it. That goes for the, the other motor as well. So if I keep if I press this play button here Okay, you see individually every motor is turned on Okay, and then turned off and this turns only one of them so the orange square addresses this motor only. So let's do it again. You see? Only this motor. But if we swap this one with that one, that should turn this motor on. Let's see it. Yes? You see it here. Now, if we want at the same time both motors to turn on, we have to use another play command like that. Okay? And we have to press them at the same time. But, because we're humans, we're not able to turn them at the same time. We have to use uh, a messaging um, technique. And see what I, what I mean. We need a single point of start, which is this one here. And that will, will send a message for example ABC and that mes message should go to both motor commands so if I use that one there and that one there it means that when I press the play button a message ABC is going to be sent and it's going to be received by this line and this line here here and here so both motors are going to get to be uh, activated at the exact time so listen what I'm gonna do I'm gonna press this see the video here you see they start and stop at the same time so this is how to do it we've actually seen two things today uh, one thing was how to uh, one thing was how to activate independently of each other the two motors 
okay and the other is how to using the message the messaging technique to have one point one start point and we can have two different two or three or more activations program activations okay thank you for watching